Upselling has become a standard marketing tool. Just when you think you've settled on a purchase, the sales associate, you know, whatever happened to clerk, the sales associate asks you if you want to upgrade to the next model that has some wonderful features. I was looking at a toaster when the salesperson suggested one with a computer chip that told me the temperature at which my bread was toasting and exactly how many seconds remained until it popped up. I'm not sure I really need that information. Uh, once you get to the checkout, well, then we're asked if we want to purchase an additional warranty. What's the matter? Isn't the first one good enough? One thing I love about the gospel is there's no upselling. There's only upgrading. It would be impossible to upsell because God already paid everything. When he gave us Jesus, he made himself poor. There wasn't anything in the universe more valuable. The ultimate gift for us was paid. And he can't ask anything more from us since salvation is a gift. However, what he can do is upgrade. He upgrades us. When Jesus dwells within, you know, see 1 Corinthians regarding our body temple. When Jesus dwells within, there is a continual process of forgiveness and cleansing. Gifts we have are improved. New gifts are given. In Ephesians 2, 6 and 7, Paul writes, God has raised us up and made us sit in heavenly places in Christ, that in ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness to us. Each improvement makes it possible for God to add yet another one. Upgrading, it's so much better than upselling. I'm Roger Bothwell.